There are two kingdoms on this earth, and every kingdom has king, people, and land. Kingdom of God has included Jesus is the king, Christian are the people and new heaven and new earth are the land. Kingdom of Satan has included Satan is the king, Gentile are the people and this earth is the land. Originally true God created this earth is very good, but human sinful nature and Satan's temptation all mess up this world. Just looking around us, greed, lust, pandemic, earthquake, flood, famine, violence, people against people and nations against nations. There are so many natural disasters and human chaos, people lost peace and love, seems human suffering is endless. Everybody have basic desires, and try to pursue good life on earth. Majority of us enjoy beauty scenery, enjoy delicious food, enjoy connecting with people, and enjoy our life on earth. But as matter of fact, the situation we encountered is not always what we wish for in this world. We live under the control of Satan's kingdom when we are born into this world. Worldly influence make our behaviors easy to go bad, and hard to be good. We have to realize that we had sin against God, we even didn't give thanks to our God. We had been kicked out the Garden of Eden, sin had brought death and curse into this world. Matthew 3 1-2 In those days John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. After Jesus had finished his work on earth, the kingdom of heaven is here now, and this kingdom is expanding, and ready to bring back the king. John the Baptist was paving the way for Jesus' first coming, Jesus' purpose on earth is died on the cross to redeem our sin, so we can be become God's chosen people. Christians today are paving the way for Jesus' second coming, Jesus' purpose is come back to judge people, let people receive what they deserved. We need to confess we are the sinners, and we can't use our own merits to go back to true God, so we need Jesus to redeem our sin. It is God's way that we need Jesus' salvation to wash away our sin, so we can reconcile with Father God. Matthew 6:24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. So we have to choose which kingdom to stay to serve God or to serve Satan we cannot serve both God and money Satan at the same time Matthew 24 14 and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come we can see many Christ church ministries and charity organizations in every countries and gospel is everywhere, this mean that God's kingdom will become reality now. Here is the second chance which we can start enter to the kingdom of God. John 3 3, Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. We need confess, repent, and accept Jesus as our Savior, and acknowledge Jesus is the King of God's Kingdom. So we have to make decision to get out of Kingdom of Satan and move to Kingdom of God. If we don't choose living in the Kingdom of God, then we will live in the Kingdom of Satan, no third Kingdom between these two Kingdoms. Christianity faith is very exclusive, it is the only way, and very inclusive, Saving grace is for everyone. 
Jesus' redemption is the way which God's love shown toward everybody. Jesus' judgment is the way which God's justice shown toward the world. Jesus is the gate which leads us into eternal kingdom of God. Worldly trend will leads us to stay comfort zone in kingdom of Satan and forget the consequence of sin, so many people walk on this broad path. Christian faith will lead us enter small gate and walk on the narrow road, but it is the road lead us into eternity. The kingdom of God is the true ecology of the human soul and the way of human living. The seeking of the kingdom of God is the core value of the Christian life. When we are seeking first the kingdom of God, then the natural becomes supernatural. When we see a tree growing leaves and flowers, then we know summer is here. 1 Thessalonians 4 13-18 described the sign of end time and the second coming of our Lord. Luke 21 31, Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. According to Luke 4 6, Satan can give us all the authority and splendor of earthly kingdom, but we have to sell our soul to get this temporarily power, wealth, and desires. After Jesus' second coming, Satan and his kingdom followers will cast into lake of fire, because they against true God, the consequence is they will stay in hell forever. Luke 4 8, Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. True God give us free will to choose which kingdom to live, so choose wisely.